Thank you for joining me today on Christine's Awesome Things and my name is Christine. Today I'm going to be talking to you about planting um, beans. I will be planting pole beans today because I like pole beans a little bit better than bush beans. Um, the difference between the two is that bush beans are more compact, their harvest is shorter, that means that their crops are going to be shorter and not as abundant. Um, it doesn't need um, a trellis or any type of support. Um, they grow in bush like, hence the name. Um, the bush will get about two to two and a half feet um, tall. Pole beans vine, they can vine anywhere between 10 to 15 feet. They have these beautiful large green leaves um, that are just bold and beautiful and they're all over and under those leaves you'll find these just crops and crops of beans and they grow all throughout the um, planting season all the way into the fall so the harvest is bigger um, the uh, big pickings the crops is a lot larger okay so that's why I like uh, pole beans but if you're looking to get something a little faster bush beans would be the better option I do sometimes plant them both I will plant bush beans um, to get a crop immediately and then later on I have the ones that come on pole beans and as I said pole beans they just continue continue to grow and grow and grow and you have all these beans available to you okay so um, I'm going to show you how to plant your beans So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have pre-moistened soil. Um, seed starting soil is better because it doesn't have any type of chemicals such as um, fertilizers where fertilizers can um, harm your seedlings. Um, the first time I ever did any beans, I used um, a potting mix and I wasn't aware that um, potting mix had fertilizers in it and believe it or not my beans actually started to melt and become pasty and I later learned that um, a seed starting mix was better and if you watch my video on um, how to make your own seed starting mix you can um, learn from that how to make your own um, one of the things that I want you to understand about beans is that Beans need to be planted with the eye down. This right here is the eye I'm referring to. See, these are the beans and right there in the center, right there is a little eye, okay? That you want to place downward into your soil. And a good rule of thumb when planting seeds or beans is a quarter inch to a half inch never more than a half inch into the soil the reason why you want to plant the eye down is because when these seeds sprout the roots actually sprout from the eye of your bean if you plant them up that means that they have to flip their self over in order to root because the roots need to be down. So you help it out by just placing the eye downward into your soil. Once you have it into your soil, you just want to cover it up with the soil and lightly press. Don't press it hard because you don't want to push the seed down any more than necessary. Once your seeds are covered, you just want to spray it with the misting of water. 
you don't want to pour the water onto your soil your um, seeds if you're heavy-handed because your soil is already moist and so if you add too much water you're literally saturating it. so you just want to get you a spray bottle and just mist the top of it Two little sprays in each cell for me and now that these are all planted I'm just going to put them under my grow lights you can put them in the windowsill if you prefer to do that and um, just let them grow and once you're ready to put them outdoors you just transform outdoors or into your flower pot um, if you're doing pole beans in a flower pot, remember you're going to need some type of support. Um, you're going to need some type of support like a trellis, a um, really tall stick for them to vine around. Again, pole beans get anywhere from between 10 to 15 feet. They're vines. Um, and they definitely need some type of support. You can also use a netting. Um, you can TP it. Either way, if you're going to plant pole beans, you're going to need support even if it's in a flower pot. If you're going with bush beans, they don't need any type of support. They grow in a small bush, no more than two, and a two, two to two and a half feet. Um, if you're looking for a smaller crop, bush beans would be your better option. If you're looking for a larger crop, uh, larger crop uh, pole beans would be your best option one thing I want to mention is that if once you transfer your beans outdoors you want to make sure that before you do that you do what's called hardening off you acclimate them to the weather you uh, before you plant them you want to take them outside in the Sun for a couple of hours get them used to the Sun um, and the wind will also make their stems and their vines a lot stronger. So if you take them outdoors in direct sunlight for a couple of hours every day, they'll get used to that sun. The sunlight and your grow lights are not the same. Yes, your grow lights will provide light for your plants, but they will not um, be the same as them being in direct sunlight with the sun literally beaming on their leaves they need to get used to that so you want to harden them off by taking them outdoors for a few hours every day before you set them outside to their permanent home whether it be a flower pot or in your garden this has been christine of christine awesome things see you again and like and subscribe